Hi, my name's Andy Sykes. I'm an illustrator and animator, and I teach animation at universities here in the UK. Why not check out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find animation and illustration by me, as well as more lessons in Flash and After Effects. Cheers. Hi, here's a little lesson on one really important principle of animation. I've borrowed this example from the Animator Survival Kit, which is a great book by Richard Williams that you should definitely check out. And what we're going to be talking about is keeping your animation consistent. So here's an example of an inconsistent piece of animation. So I'm going to stick it on loop and just press play. And you can see that this animation, it looks a bit confusing. It's kind of a mess. Really, what we're supposed to be focusing on is the movement of the mouth and our eyes and our nose should really be staying still. But I've traced over them, I was in a bit of a rush, and we've got this kind of wobbling effect that doesn't really look very good. So that's how it shouldn't be done. Let's take a look at what's happening to the eyes, the main problem that we're having. And this is what Richard Williams points out, is that if the eyes are originally supposed to be this shape, and then the in-betweener artist draws over them looking like this, then you get this horrible kind of flickering effect and it doesn't make the animation look very consistent. So this is what it's supposed to look like. You can see our mouth is moving and our eyes and our nose are staying the same. So in Flash, what I've done is I've put the mouth on a layer all by itself and then the face, including the eyes and the nose, is on a separate layer, so we're not having to redraw those every time we want to move the mouth. So on our mouth layer, we've just got the mouth in each of its different positions. So because the eyes and the nose aren't moving, there's no point redrawing them every time or tracing over them, and it makes our animation much clearer. So we know that we're supposed to be looking at this mouth moving instead of all the other elements wobbling about. So there you go, that's just a quick lesson on keeping your animations consistent. Have a go yourself, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Next up, why not take a look at my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find out more about my self-published books, the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book, and the Hexjibber Anti-Revision Book. They're both suitable for kids and adults alike and are well worth checking out.